Hi, I'm Laura Wright. I'm your senior warden at St. Mark's, and I'm here today with a few reminders about Lent. Um, I'm sure many of you, probably lots of you, have gotten the lion's roar by now, but as you probably know, Lent begins on February 17th, and um, in the lion's roar, you'll see a, a whole list of opportunities for us as um, St. Mark's parishioners to engage in the practices and reflections of Lent. Um, Saint, Saint, all Saints Episcopal Church in Johnson City is going to be offering a virtual service, but then physical ashes on Ash Wednesday. Um, if you are interested in that, there's more information in the Lion's Roar. There's also, um, you can go to their Facebook page. Uh, Dorothy, our Deacon Dorothy is going to offer Stations of the Cross on Friday evenings during Lent. Um, Teresa Brom, who's been very faithful about providing us with morning prayer on Mondays and Fridays is going to add a um, daily meditation um, on Fridays, I'm sorry, yes, on Fridays during Lent. Um, so please be aware of that. And the thing that I'm most excited about for Lent is um, each parishioner will be receiving in the mail a little booklet of Lenten micro practices. Kathy Lisicki did some research and found this online. Um, with the support of the diocesan office. And this offers a sort of 40 day um, schedule of preparation for the coming of Easter, um, which of course we're all really looking forward to. But Len, we've had a lot of time during the COVID season to um, reflect and be alone and to um, perhaps engage in some different spiritual practices. But the reason I'm excited about this is because it's very straightforward it's um, not a lot of, of, of work, not a lot of reading, sort of focused, a micro practice. Um, and there are 40 days in here in this booklet. Everyone will receive this. Um, they vary from uh, pray for others that you encounter during the day to find a new charity organization to support um, each day. Also, there are um, suggestions every few days for something you can do. And what we're gonna do is prepare little bags of supplies that you could use to do those things. Um, it's like sticky notes, crayons, maybe a recipe, um, things like that. You could certainly, um, if you cho chose to, engage in all these practices without the, that little bag of supplies, but we thought it would be fun for people to share a common experience, especially people who may not be able to get out and and purchase things on their own. So if you are interested in um, having a little bag of micro practice supplies to support you in Lent, please let Kathy know at church by the 10th of February. February starts on the, or I'm sorry, Lent starts on the 17th. And um, what we'll do is we'll make up those bags and deliver them or make them available to people to stop by and pick up. Um, it's, it's, Lent can be a hard season but um, it ends in Easter and that's what I'm looking forward to. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that you are all also able to do that. Thank you and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.